To uh, recap the three movies that we reviewed this week here on Critics' Corner, Mark and I both gave a big <gasps> thumbs up to the new mm. Swedish film directed by... Uh, Olaf Svensson. Olaf Svensson, called uh, The Winter of My Despondency. Haunting abstract symbolism. Artie crap. Now, Jonathan and I did split, however, on the newest teenage romp called Frat Slobs. Uh, Jonathan, I think, thought it to, to be a, a light, frothy souffle, sizzling with youthful energy. That I did. On the other hand, I thought it was pond scum. You're an albino. What the hell do you know? Now, we have a new feature we'd like to introduce on Critics' Corner we hope you'll enjoy. We call it Real Life Reviews, in which we critique the life of an average person just like you. Uh, Jonathan, uh, we'll begin with a review of the life of Harvey Putnick. No, Pitnick. Pitnick Shh. of Skokie, Indiana. Uh, Illinois. Illinois. Harvey Pitnick. Bernice? Skokie, Illinois. Bernice, come here. They're talking about me on the television. Come here. Now, Harvey Pitnick uh, would hey, seem to have that? all the ingredients for a successful life. <laughs> you think so? So why does he fail so miserably? I don't know. Well, I think the problem is with Harvey himself. The hell is this? You know, you're right. It is Harvey. Very good, Jonathan. It is Harvey. So we're supposed to care about this Harvey Pitnick? <laughs> Why? I mean, it takes him 30 years to develop any character at all, and by the time he does, who cares? They're, they're crucifying me. It's hardly worth the wait. He didn't like Gandhi either. Let me show you. Here's a scene from last year as Harvey is coming home from work. <sighs> Oh, hi, Scraps. Hi, Dad. Hi, kids. How did they do this? Hi, honey. Hi, dear. Ooh, potatoes. I didn't cons uh, I didn't consent for this to be on TV here. How is yours? Dinner will be ready in five minutes. Okay. Wow, some exciting home life, huh? And it goes on like that. Yeah, you don't tell me. Tediously, day in and day out. Where's the love? Where's the passion? Where's the, uh, the examination of one's own existence? This is a poor excuse for a life. I give Harvey Pitnick a, a big thumbs down. Thumbs down? Well, I give him a thumbs down, too. But I didn't hate Harvey quite as oh. much as you, Jonathan. Oh, Granted, his life was a miserable waste of time. But I rather enjoyed the Kafkaesque touches. Here's a loser trapped in a dead-end job and a, a loveless marriage. How do they family, know that? Just anything to make this man human. And think of the money it took to bring him into the world. Oh, time. I mean, to feed him and to clothe him and then to educate him. And after all that, what have you got? You've got a big bore. A dull clod. An empty suit. And another thing, I was always one step ahead of this guy's life. There just were no surprises. Now, wait a minute. What about the ending of his life? Now, that came as a surprise. I ending? saw that coming a mile away. I didn't. What you ending? See, the high blood pressure. True. The lack of exercise. Calm down. Uh -huh. Calm the down. bad what? diet. Of course. But, uh... By the time he finally has his heart attack in front of the TV, big deal. Heart attack. It's such a mundane. A heart though. attack. There could have been so many different ways to die. Yes, I see. Oh. Wouldn't it have been more dramatic if, let's say, you had fallen down an elevator no, shaft? No, it really should have happened. You what? should have died years earlier. True. Harvey. Maybe in a submarine accident. Harvey. It was just a terribly wasted oh life. Wow. Possibly a giant Harvey. squid. Something to add a little science fiction to it. To it. It's tragic down. waste, but who cares? Oh well, I see our time is up. We want to thank you very much for joining us on Critics Corner. Hope you'll be back next week when we'll have an aisle seat reserved just for you. Bye-bye. There's so many things he could have done. For one thing, he could have had a better haircut, don't you?